Okay, now the abortion issue. We're going to ask you both now to explain your positions on abortion. We're going to offer specific questions to each of you in this round. So first we're going to start with Congressman Bacon. In a Nebraska right to life survey, the only abortion exception that you noted was to prevent the death of the mother. You did not answer whether if abortion should be legal in no case, and you did not make an exception for rape and incest. Now you've said that you support the Lindsey Graham bill for a federal ban on abortion after 15 weeks that may offer some exceptions. So please explain your position. On principle, and because of my Christian faith, I am pro-life. I believe God has created us in his image, like most devout Catholics, most devout evangelicals and orthodox folks that share these beliefs. And I believe the, the most defenseless deserve our protection. But I also know as a legislator, you have to move within the lanes of what the voters will allow. And there is overwhelming evidence in the district and in the nation that voters would like a 15-week restriction. And, I've, and it's overwhelming evidence. I had yesterday going door to door, a lady says, Don, I'm pro-choice, but I support restrictions from 12 to 15 weeks. That is a very common answer uh, here. I will support that because it moves us forward. No, Europe has gone there. 50 countries in Europe, 47 countries support 15-week restrictions or even more restrictive. Only three do not. There's 27 countries out of 50 support 12-week restrictions or more restricti re restrictive. Only seven countries in the world share my opponent's view of zero restrictions. Seven countries. Only one in five voters, and not even that, support abortion on demand until birth, which is zero restrictions and eight different news sources or media sources have asked Tony, what restrictions? He's either said none or he refused to answer. Zero restrictions is abortion on demand until birth, and less than one in five voters support that. I will meet the voters where they're at, which is 15 weeks. That's where most of Europe is at, and we can make progress here, and we can do it with the support of the majority of Americans.